Hi, I'm Matt Carey, documentary editor, Deadline.com, and we are in the Deadline studio at Sundance. And we are talking about Will and Harper with Will and Harper. Will and Harper of the title, Will Farrell and Harper Steele. Welcome so much to us in our studio. Welcome Thank to you. our studio. That's Thank what I'm trying to say. Here. Not yes. very well, in our beautiful studio here. It's gorgeous. This is a road trip, uh, but uh, maybe I'll throw that to Will first. Um, the origins of it, you're, it's during the pandemic. You get an email from your good friend that you've known from SNL for so long. And yeah. tell us a little bit about that and how it led to this road trip. Yes. Uh, received an email from, uh, from Harper with, with the headline that said, here's a weird one. And uh, she began to explain that at the age of 59, she was going to transition. Um, and so immediately responded and said, congrats, we love you. Uh, amazing, this, that, and the other. However, you know, uh, it was big news uh, for all of us. And, uh, um, but it took, it, it, you too. It was big news for yeah. you too. <laughs> <laughs> to finally. Imagine that. Yeah. Imagine yeah. that. And by 39, by the way. Yeah, 39, sorry. But I think it took us, it took us a good six months before we actually had a face-to-face -face kind of sit down. And during that time, someone, a mutual friend had, had said that Harper was lamenting about the fact that these road trips that if you know Harper, that's part of her DNA. She's, she's been driving cross country four or five times a year for as long as we've known her, uh, that she was now slightly fearful of what that, what that would mean as a trans woman now. And when we finally got to have our face-to-face -face coffee and give each other a hug, I proposed this idea that uh, we take this trip, uh, it gives me a chance to support her, it gives me a chance to ask her questions that I have, and uh, and then I don't know why I said it, but and, and we'll film it. <laughs> and, uh, and you and said, absolutely, no problem at all. You not know, not no really. No, about not this. really. I, I'm yeah. going to think about this. Yeah. 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 Tell us about some of the places that you visit. And, you know, there are red states, blue states, probably mm -hmm. some purple states. Yeah. There. Yeah. Um, well, uh, we started in New York. We went to L.A. So and I've done that many times uh, back and forth. And uh, I had a route that I liked. I wanted to go through my hometown of Iowa City and hang out with my sister so it was limited you know a lot of interstate 80 i mean we are coming from dc so if you know your roadways some 80 ah, geez i don't want to get no, into roadways maybe. anyway we went this to this is not route 66 this no it wasn't no, no. Be less we did we did fly down day. into to texas and oklahoma to and kind of flag yeah yeah, yeah um yeah, yeah, but yeah. uh a indiana pacers game uh a wonderful bar in uh, outside of, uh, slightly outside of Peoria. Mm -hmm. um, Richard uh, Pryor's hometown. Who? Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. Oh, Richard Pryor's oh. hometown. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, um, and uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun places. Uh, places that that I'm used to hitting uh, throughout my life. So uh, I, yeah, that was. Uh, that and was so, some of these places we we went together, and others Harper said. I need to, I, I'm going to give it a shot on my own. Right, because, you know, the, the, if I walk into a place with Will Ferrell, I'm, I'm suddenly insulated in a way. I mean, I mean, I'm 100%. exposed to things that yeah. I wouldn't normally be, but it was important that there were times in going to bars or like, no, wait a minute, I'm going to try this and see how people respond to me and so that I can compare it to the Will effect. Certainly, among other the things. will effect is pretty huge, and it's very it's very safe. It was very safe. Yeah. I I fully acknowledge that. And on top of it, even without will, the camera crew makes it safe for me. So that's yeah, another that's aspect. Um, I've gone back and forth a couple times actually since that um, road trip. And what the thanks for the, thanks for the invite. Is it what by the way? <laughs> I'm telling the story. No, I know. Okay, keep going. What the doc did for me was give me a little more confidence. As a trans woman, I will say, you probably don't want to be overly confident. I'm still a little leery of what I would do in my 20s and 30s when I was performing male. Um, but I think uh, uh, I am a lot more confident, and I think this documentary helped me 
immensely in that sense. It certainly was a journey in every respect for you, Will, as it is for the audience. Um, super emotional for me watching it in, in a beautifully touching way. What were some of the things that were maybe most emotional or, or opportunities for, for learning, if you will, for you? You know, uh, yeah, there were a number of moments. I mean, for for me, it was it was a chance to transition myself in a way to uh, to learn to 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 get to know my friend even more than I knew her before. Uh, to get to ask these questions that I think a lot of cis people still have. Uh, for me to struggle on camera with asking these questions. Um, and then there, yeah, there are a couple emotional moments where I'm struggling with making sure I stand up for my friend in, in, in moments that felt tense for us and feeling like I, like I fail at times. Uh, um, but I think we were, we were obviously both willing to, um, to go there, you, you kind of, that's what's kind of crazy about a documentary. You do eventually forget their cameras there. And we let our guard down and, and we're able to have these super honest uh, and kind of frank discussions. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's very frank in a way that most people aren't willing. They're not comfortable enough to kind of go there. But your bond, yeah. you know, helps you certainly through that. I hope this isn't off topic. Um, but I did want to ask about this, your former head writer at SNL. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, one of the frequent, fairly frequent hosts is, is Dave Chappelle and his most recent uh, Netflix special that premiered on December 31st. Once again, <laughs> he's he's making trans people the object of, you know, his, his humor, shall we say. But I wonder from your point of view, from either of you, of how you feel about that. Um, because he's, you know, maybe he is... Uh, channeling or, or, you know, voicing what some people say and wouldn't say, but it's, it's very prejudicial, I would say. I might say that too. I think, um, I support trans people 100%. I will, I will second you. I think it's off topic. <laughs> I do. I think it's like, I, we are here to talk about this movie. And if I get into, I, it's too soundbitey environment for me to talk about those sort of issues, which I have plenty of opinions about and may come out later in front of Congress. All right. Okay. So, Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm somewhat hesitant and yet it, it certainly. No, 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 no. I, I respect the questions but, always, but I don't, again, I know when like, it doesn't feel like the well, let climate me, for that. Let me take it back though a little bit to okay. SNL of like, it's a reunion uh, movie in a sense of Kristen Wiig and Will Forte. We see Lauren Michaels and all that. Yeah. Kristen, did you do a good job with, with the song ultimately? You were trying to get her to write the song yeah. for the film. She, yeah. You know, it took a bit of prodding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did she come through in your, in your view? Did she, did she no. get a home run with that? Uh, she was awful. She, yeah. It was, it was not up to our standards. No. We, yeah. We're not, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. She, she yeah. nailed it as far as I'm No, she, yeah, yeah, she, she blew wonderful. us away with, yeah. uh, with this. It, I mean, what, what was surprising, and, and of course, knowing Kristen, she, of course, she went off on her own and yeah. literally did this thing, which was a complete surprise to us. Yeah. We were hoping she would follow through as we prod her throughout the movie to write us a theme song. Um, and then what she delivered was so sweet and touching and yet funny still in its own way, but really kind of blew us away. It's a wonderful film. Just maybe a last question for now, but you're in the hands of a guy, Josh Greenbaum, director, who knows comedy as well. I, that's got to give you a comfort level. Yeah. That, you know, he, he kind of speaks your language. Yeah. Yeah, that was important. I mean, that was a big, important thing. I mean... Because that's the language that binds us yeah, as yeah. friends. I mean, uh, we were going to get... And I knew this is 17 days of talking endlessly. And I knew that it was going to get intense at times. And I, I, I just... I had to have someone that was going to not only speak the language, someone I personally was just comfortable with. And so... He was amazing. I, he, it, it, you know, the more I, I, I knew him before, but the more I get to know, 
I just, the humanity there to me is so sweet. I, I'm telling you, there's 200 hours of documentary there. A lot of it is shitty. Uh, <laughs> but Josh, <laughs> Josh, because Josh, of us. Josh yeah. pulled out the humanity. Yeah. Uh, and I thought that was really sweet. So, yeah. Well, it's an amazing, incredibly emotional, funny film. And uh, thank you. So thankful for you guys. I say guys, but you know, I mean, no, 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 that's we, fine. We, we go with we, guys. We know, we, we know what you mean. I trust me. I asked that question. <laughs> if that, if that terminology. So it's Will and Harper, and we've been joined by Will Farrell and Harper Steele. Congratulations on your world premiere. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>